Hello everyone, here's another mini album made using my tonic insert dies. And again, I've used the Nitwit papers. These were part of a vote when I made my last tutorial. It didn't win, but I wanted to use them. They're the diggers and dozers. So full of diggers, bulldozers and other machinery and construction worker theme. As you can see, the paper's got really nice primary bright colours, nice cogs there, and this caution men at work. So, nothing different to some of the other albums I've made. I've used a belly band to keep it shut. Again, this caution men at work is from the kit. As are these buttons, which are a bit different this time. Rather than buttons, they're like screw heads. So that's a nice little touch. And when we open it, it'll be the same as what I've done in most others. I've just got some pocket pages. The toppers were made by putting the images on some backing paper on the computer. So when I printed it out, they were just one flat layer and cut out with my Sue Wilson pierced squares. Oh, sorry, pierced circles. These little tags nice little staple and border are in the digi kit as well so they were just printed out and again Lisa Horton's tags were used love these because you get the matching top which I've used scrap pieces of papers from all the cutting out nice little touch which ties it all in love this paper in the background with all the tools and again same thing on this side just with a different character and different papers and different colours. Now the next page you may recognise from my earlier tutorials is just flips down. But this page is slightly different. It's something I've been asked about before. If I can do it and I finally have. So keep an eye out on me. Have a tutorial soon on how to do it. When you lift it. You can use the traffic cone if you want. I've got my twist and pop. Yep, I finally worked out how to fit one into the papers. Uh, sorry, into the dies for these paper uh, for these tonic dies. When I flip it open, we've got to the centre of the book. As you know, I put that little extra pocket in. In one of my other tutorials, I use a stopper. I've just changed it this time to one of these nuts and bolts from the DigiKit, which just stop the tags falling down. I'll show you the papers behind here, all the different machinery. And again, just a belly band and that nut and bolt just to stop it. I'll put it tidy later. So on each of my waterfalls this time, I put a different machine. There's a crane, a digger, and some pockets again to finish. Same papers as I used on the first two pages just instead of the little construction, uh, construction workers, I've just put one of the sayings from the DigiKit. And again, the cogs, just so it matches the front. Hope you liked seeing them, and see you again soon.